hello everyone welcome back to the channel and today yes we are back to Madeira It is empty. However, I have we have noticed that this time round it's m more busy than when we came. When we came last time, let me tell you something. When we went for the immigration, it took us like five, seven minutes. Now it took us like twenty minutes, and the flight was nearly full. So I can't imagine how Funchal is going to be tomorrow morning, and it is Sunday tomorrow. So yeah. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and follow us in our new adventure. See you in the morning. Mm. I thought I wouldn't like the bread, but it's nice. It's nice. Hello everyone! Today we're going to be trying the drone for the first time. We have been very apprehensive, Marcelo, very apprehensive about it, Marcelo. Here is the mess, sir. We're going to show you how it is around. But Marcelo, Marcelo, you're going full power, my bro. Why are you going so fast? Where did it go? I can't see the drone though. But you can see whatever. Mm -hmm. Are you scared though? A bit. I would be. I would be. What's this drone? DJI. Small. Small. Um, mini. mini. Small. DJI Mini. So we're gonna ask to come back. I can't see anymore. Don't, don't, don't panic. Don't panic. What happened? Okay. She's coming back now. Okay. We panicked for a bit. I saw him shaking. Oh my god. So we actually have a view of the hotel that we're going to be staying at. We're going to do a separate video on that. Um, the experience is called Next. That's the name of the hotel, and it's actually one of the closest hotels in Funchal, like close to the center. Um, I'm sure there are more hotels on that side but this is the area that we see that there are loads as you can see loads, loads of hotels so we're just a video about the hotel how to get to the hotel and etc but the view is amazing look at this transparent water this is day This is day four. We're still coming back to the same place, which is Bingo Dos, which you get. I think the price is accessible for most. You see that once again, there's a lot of local people that come here to get their food because the food is nice. The portions are good. It feels like homemade food. Not that the restaurants don't. It does have taste, and breakfast is cheap. We did have breakfast elsewhere um, on the first day, you're going to see here in the image and I think that one came to around 8 euros, something like that. We're having breakfast here at Pingu Dos, um, the first time since we came, um, since we arrived on Sunday, we're having it here and it's come to, let me just double check, 4 euros 97, so you can see the difference. Like from eight or six or something like that to four euros 97 and the food is good do you get what i mean so i'm not going to give up on trying to like find a restaurant that i'm gonna enjoy the food and etc but 
I haven't found a place that can be bingo dosi. I haven't found Marcelo looks lost. And we are at the hotel. That is a separate video which will show you the whole hotel. For now, we're just chilling. Um, there are things you can do here. There's the boat rides, there's the pirate boat ride, which you can check out. We paid for this hotel, so I am staying right here. <laughs> Enjoying every penny that we spent to stay here. <laughs> so yeah. That is day four. Anything else adventurous happens today, then we shall definitely, I shall definitely record it. But as for now, um, I'm not too sure. But yes, Madeira is the place to be, guys. You need to come. It is May and my feet are burning, burning. <laughs> That's why we are here in this little hub in the hotel rooftop and my feet are like squished so that the sunlight um, does not touch it because it is hot. I've put already the sun lotion. It's a must guys. Sun lotion at all times. Sun lotion. You need it for protection because otherwise you're going to be burning like a chicken. So we just went out um, and get something to eat. Um, it's not that there weren't a lot of choices there were, it's just that we left really late. We left like at 10 p.m. to go and get something to eat because in the afternoon we had like a, we had Burger King and that's very filling. Um, and that was around, I think one, two o'clock. So we just managed to get food now. We have this view here. I don't think it does it justice because I'm using the front camera um, but yeah so we went to eat it cost us 32 pounds 32 euros sorry where 32 euros and and so far is the food nice hmm. huh? it's okay his food is okay <laughs> I'm sure my food it's nice also. Yeah, batata is really nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is batata the million. So this is my food. And that is Marcelo's food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. The most important lad is winning. Let's go, bro! So we sat down to get our little food um, it wasn't little as you can see from the images it was really nice and then we are back at our favorite place which is Pingo Dos and once again record breaking we've only spent 20 pounds 20 euros 78 centavos and we bought drinks and you just fill the plate with whatever you see there they've actually changed last time we came it wasn't like this last time we came we actually had to um they had like set meals and then you can only add certain things and then they will calculate it based on that um but now it's by weight so you basically just fill your plate with whatever you see and then they weigh it <coughs> They weigh it and then that's how much they charge you. So we didn't include any desserts because we didn't want any desserts. The desserts are like a separate price, separate thing. Um, my spring roll, vegetable one, was also a separate thing. But what was on the plate, that's what they weigh. Um, I think, I don't know who's, I, I think it's Marcelo's one. Marcelo's one was 9 euros 81, which is the fullest plate. And my one was 7 euros 79. I mean, if you compare it to, um, what do you call them? If you compare it to normal restaurants, you would be paying just 15 euros minimum, <clears throat> or maybe 10 euros, maybe some um, for um, a meal, and it wouldn't be as the plate wouldn't be as full as you can make it for here. That's not proper English, but you know what I mean.
like it. So the prices here are actually very reasonable and the portions are not bad as well. The restaurant is in Santa Cruz and you have the ocean view outside. You can actually sit outside but I can't deal with the um, smoke. And the, and the pigeons. Oh yeah, and there are pigeons chilling. So yeah, they to be eaten, so. yeah, they want to eat as well. So no, <laughs> that's just not gonna be me. Um, but the price is not bad. I think it's reasonable. It doesn't beat the portions that you would get at Pingu Dosi. Exactly. Um, no, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> but it's decent. It's a lot better than what we had last time when I ate in that restaurant. Mm -hmm. oh my gosh, so disappointed. So this one, I'm not gonna cry over it. But yeah, I'm gonna eat now. And I have the chips with salad and just hamburger. Like when you actually see hamburger, it's hamburger just without the bread. And then my salad with kids, vinegar, as usual. Yeah. Just with um, garlic, garlic, yeah. garlic and butter. butter. Yeah. Everyone that knows me knows that I like my Chinese shops. They're the bomb.com. I really enjoy the Chinese shops. Look at this. Look how cute that is. I think this is also for the flower festival, eh? That little flower thing that's there. Yeah. There you go. So yeah, a little Chinese shop around here, so let me go in. What did you say? Sandalas are so cute. Is that sandalas there? Yeah. 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 So for those who don't know, Chinese shop are shops that you find just everything that you may have forgotten back home. Um, undergarments, even clothes you want to buy. Um, these ones are a bit pricey. I think the ones that I saw, like in Porto Santo, were actually a bit more cheap. So, I'm gonna buy it. I know it looks really tacky, but you really do find like some really good stuff here. Even if you forget like your phone adapters or your electric electric stuff, you can buy here as well. They do have quite a lot of stuff. They've got cutleries. They have a lot. I won't say this That's is the, the best organized one that I've been to. However you find the stuff the matter of this the point of this shop is not for it to look like your zara and your h&m is to have everything that you need that's the point of it so yeah off we go so today's breakfast single dosi five euros and five centimus i don't know how you say centimus in english <laughs> And is a toast, grilled toast with a lot of butter. Um, Galang, which is a drink that you saw there. Bola de Berlin, foliado de frango, empanada de carne. So, five euros, five. Very nice. Look at the young man. <laughs> So that's the breakfast today. The lunch is not served yet, so I'm gonna do that later. So Philly. What? What is it? Remember when I told you guys about the Chinese shop? So this one is a, a lot more organized. So we're in the other section. This is massive. Wow. And it's so well organized with like arts and crafts. Like here you find like game for your kids. If you have like limited um, baggage and you're like, I can't be bothered to take toys for the kids now. Maybe I'll buy it there. You can buy it here. Um, the price is, let me see how much is this plush. This one is 8 euros, I don't know about that, I know I wouldn't pay for that, but they have like so many stuff. So this is just the 
home stuff. Don't know if you can see. Here's the home and cleaning stuff. But up there, and this is the bird cages because they have a lot of birds here. Even my family has a lot of birds here. Um, but yeah. And then up front is the clothing section where they have everything. So she just needs to buy good clothes. So, so this is the Chinese shops that I'm always telling you guys about. Some are bigger than others, but you always find like everything that you will actually need for a trip. Bags, everything, everything, even dog clothes. So these are the sections. So it's day seven and we are back at Pingudo. So we came to church and now we're coming to eat. We were going to have breakfast, but we're not coming back here. We're going to Mashiku. And unfortunately, today, not unfortunately, but today they've decided to do the grilling, like where they do the grilling on the spot, which they normally just do in Albufera for what we remember. Sorry, my nose is peeling. And today they're doing it. And I'm so sad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm so sad. I'm really, really sad because they're doing it today and we're not going to spend the afternoon here. We're going to go to Mashiku. So I'm very disappointed. But let's see how much it's going to be. We're going to share a plate today because it's meant to be breakfast time and it's not the time for this. Look at this fresh octopus salad. I'm very disappointed. Anyways, I'll be back in a minute. So I can't speak much. This is the food. We're sharing. It's 14 euros today. 14 euros 64. And we're going to eat quick because we need to go and catch the bus. Um, if we miss the 11.31, we need to catch it. Oh my gosh. We need to catch the um, 2 o'clock and we don't want to do that. So Marcelo's munching on his lovely food. This is soup. If you don't know. No soup. Portugal, we have a lot of things of the mm -hmm. soup. It's good. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to you, but I'm so upset. Today they're gonna be grilling fish straight from the grill. They're gonna be doing chicken. They're gonna be grilling pineapples. But like I said, we're not gonna go much sick when they come all the way back here to eat. So maybe tomorrow we can find it or Sunday the same thing. Hopefully. And my nose is peeling because of the heat. But yeah, let me go and eat. See you later, guys. I mean, if you're a single man, you live well here. I don't know. I'm like that soup. And I'm a soup person. I like soup. Um, me and him, I like soup. we came in the morning because we really liked it and we wanted to try the pizza because the pizzas are massive and they look really really nice isn't it so we are coming back for the pizza we don't know today or monday but we're coming back for the pizza um but yeah now we're gonna enjoy our feast so 18 euros for the meal excluding um the drinks and you said it wasn't going to be enough. I can eat this by myself. Yeah. So this is called picadinhos. So it has a mushroom sauce with the meat and chips. Really tasty. <laughs> Really, really tasty. So, this is the last day. Well, not the last day. We're just at the airport now. Um, I've already posted a video because we walked here. Um, how long it takes to walk to the airport from Santa Cruz. 
So we're at the airport now. We're just having our breakfast as we as we do. And yeah, just a little shout out to something that we would normally I would suggest. No, normally I suggest if you come to Malaya that you try the compao maracuja, which is passion fruit, or festival, which is peach. The bomb.com guarantee you so yeah hope you guys liked our videos i hope it was very informative i hope it helps you with your trip this year or next year or whatever and yeah so so the lunch that we're getting which is a toasty with mishto which is like cheese and ham um, and the two drinks marcelo got the same drink as me it was airport price of course 12 euros so this, the sandwich was 620 and the two juices 580. Just bear in mind that outside the airport you can get that most maybe for five euros rather than 12. So these are airport prices. Um, but yeah. If you have any questions about the trip, where to go, what to do, with the little knowledge that we have, we would more than happy we'll be more than happy to respond in the comment section so yeah forget to like and subscribe to the channel we're gonna have more content more things that we're gonna be speaking about um, and we'll be sharing with you guys more trips that will be going on and yeah so stay tuned for that so next time guys bye. Ah.